In this video, I'm going to show you how to test your microwave door latch switches. Here is a set of three of them that I've removed to make this a little bit easier to demonstrate. Um, you can disconnect these at times right, right while they're in the unit, and then you can test them as well. Um, it's sometimes a little bit more challenging because there's not a lot of room to get in there. Um, this is the SZM V16 FD63 and FD62. Um, so we're going to test these and I'll explain how these work. So right off the bat, you can see on this one there's an orange little tab. If you push that down, what happens is it, there's a little wire in there that you can hear a click. And that pushes the little wire down. So I'm going to put my... Connections on here. You can see I'm set at 200 ohms and I'm going to put this up here and right now this is called an open circuit. Um, so as I'm putting this here, no current is able to run over to the other terminal. But when I push this down, it's going to push a little wire down. And as you can see here, it pushes that wire down and then that connection is able to go through. Um, this should read somewhere around 1, and this one does read 1. So this one is called, because these are not making any, it's showing no resistance, this one is called an open switch. So I'm going to test the other one in the same way. It should read nothing at all. Nothing should happen. And then when I push this down, you should hear that click. And then you should get a reading somewhere around 1. And this one's reading around 1. So this one is good also. This one is called a closed circuit. Typically, there'll be two open and one closed. So I'm going to touch these terminals. Right off the bat, I should get a reading somewhere around 1. And this one's coming in at 1 or, or near 1. Um, so I'm going to push this down. And what this one's going to do when I push down, it's actually going to open up that circuit. And I will not get a reading here. So I'm going to push this down. And when I do that, as you can see, right now it's an open circuit. So no power is going through. And then when I release that, it should read back to one. And so these are a good working set of micro switches.